I just had an amazing 48 hours solo traveling Prague but something crazy happened and it was such a bad idea for me to not purchase travel insurance and I always purchase travel insurance this was the first trip ever that I have not because it was for one night it was last minute there's no excuse guys keep watching to find out why you should always buy travel insurance no matter where you're going good morning from Prague it's another sunny day here and I'm gonna go out for another day and explore. Um, I've actually got a flight home back to London Gatwick this evening, so I was only here for like two days, technically not two full days, but um, yeah, everything in Prague is like in walking distance, so it's been really easy to get everywhere. Today's agenda is Prague Castle, a park, which I cannot remember the name of right now. I will write it here. And then I'm also gonna go back to the old town square, and just see see what else the day brings really so yeah i've got a little white summer dress on today actually i'll show you in the mirror so this is today's outfit i'm about to check out um so i'm gonna keep my luggage in the storage room or just my backpack i've got a little backpack um flying back with wiz air at about 7 pm tonight so Yes, it's so nice and sunny here. I'm so happy that I get to wear like a sundress. There's the tram. That's the tram actually coming the other way that I got on from the airport. You can't get the tram all the way from the airport, but I got on a bus for about 10 minutes. That took me to like a main tram stop and then I got a tram all the way straight to my hotel. Every building I see here is just like so extravagant. so windy today my hair is like all over the place it's gonna be so knotty at the end of the day so with a viewpoint comes lots of stairs and a climb so I'm just gonna like take my time because I don't want to get sweaty it's the morning I don't want to get sweaty when I've got a whole day and then also like I'm <laughs> I'm already out of breath, but wow, there's already like such a nice view. Let me show you. Like I said, the wind is flying my hair everywhere. <laughs> I think the whole vlog today is just going to be my hair in my face. Oh, I'm going to have to make this the thumbnail. This is a really nice, really nice park especially when it's a nice day like today. There's a little lake and this is very close to Prague Castle. I am now walking to Prague Castle. It's about a 15 minute walk from the park. And this is probably gonna be like one of my highlights of the trip. It's gonna make it feel even more like a magical kingdom. I'm following the crowds up to Prague Castle. All this area around the castle, it's just absolutely stunning. I've changed my plans. I'm gonna go get food first because the castle is quite a walk up and a walk around and I'm feeling really hungry and I wanna make sure that I have water as well because I don't stupidly didn't come out of water. So I'm gonna go get some energy, eat, get a bottle of water. Oh wow, this is a really nice road. Just everywhere you walk here, there's just like something beautiful. <gasps> so nice. This is St. Nicholas Church. And there's like a little square here.
nice big at lunch and now I'm at the castle. Um, as you can see, I just can't vlog today. Prague Castle is a castle complex in Prague um, and it serves as the official residence and workplace of the President of the Czech Republic. It was built in the 9th century and over time it's been a seat for the kings, holy roman emperors and past presidents of Czechoslovakia. The complex is home to a number of buildings and cathedrals. This is St Vitus Cathedral here and it's also home to St George's Basilica, um, the old royal palace and the great south tower of the cathedral. So there's so much to see here, it's such a great place to visit and it's completely free to walk around the grounds, you only pay to enter the buildings. Highly, highly recommend you come to Prague Castle if you are coming to the city. Like I said, you don't have to pay to walk around the grounds. For anyone that has mobility issues, there are a lot, a lot of steps up to Prague Castle, but you can get a tram that takes you straight to the top of the hill. So I'd highly recommend doing that if you struggle with walking or climbing upstairs. Now I'm on my way to go and try a traditional chimney cake. I've never actually, I feel like I remember having one when I came to Prague when I was younger, but they look absolutely amazing. So I'm excited to try this. Actually, I need to stop saying that because in my last vlog I literally said I'm really excited, I'm super excited, I'm excited like 10 times. Here's my chimney. I wanted to get it from that place, where is it? Uh, the Good Food Bakery because it's got good reviews but their card machine's broken I don't have cash on me so I've gone to this traditional Czech um, place here just down the, down the street a little bit. And I've gone for pistachio. Look how good this looks. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to eat this because like, I don't want to just bite into it from the side, but I'm trying to like eat the whipped cream off the top and then work out what I need to do then. After I had that delicious chimney cake in the Old Town Square, I walked over to the Jewish Quarter and explored. There's nothing better than a nice, cold, refreshing ice Coke, honestly, when you've like been walking so much. I've got about an hour till I need to leave for the airport, so I've just come to this little like gardens behind the church as it's called. Um, it's really nice, I'm just going to sit on a bench and reflect, no, I'm going to sit on a bench and chill out for a bit. It's time for me to say goodbye to Prague, it's been a quick but really really nice trip and I would highly recommend you come to Prague if you haven't been. I am heading back with Wizz Air tonight. So I've got to make my way back to the airport shortly. That was supposed to be a lovely ending to my amazing time in Prague. But literally 10 minutes after I finished filming for the vlog, guys, I boarded a tram in Prague to head back towards the airport. And I had boarded, I tried to buy a ticket on the tram because in Prague, the ticket machine is like on the bars. So I was stood up and I was stood up fiddling around with the machine trying to buy my ticket. And all of a sudden... The tram breaks so harshly and I fly down the aisle, slam down onto the floor. Luckily, I land on my backpack because my backpack was on my back, so that padded my fall. I lost um, half of one of my fingernails, but that was minimal. And it was just shocking and I had basically found out that we had crashed into a car or a car had like come in front of the tram and it, it broke really, really suddenly. And so I fell down, everyone was amazing. Everyone rushed around me. Um, I think I was actually one of the only ones standing up. So I was the only one that like really got injured from the crash. Obviously I was, I've never experienced anything like this. So I was like really, really shaken up. Um, I was really tearful. Uh, the driver got out, he came and checked I was okay, he said the police are coming, um, do I need an ambulance? Obviously at the time I didn't feel any pain but then they were saying to me that after shock like it, you could start to feel the pain so like it is best that you go to the hospital to get checked out like I've you know literally been thrown across the tram um, but as I said at the start of this video stupid Louisa did not have travel insurance and I knew that if I get taken to that hospital that no matter what, I am gonna have to pay and find the money for this that I don't have. Um, so I basically said, I'm fine. I'm gonna go straight to the airport, get on my plane, even though I was really shaken up. Um, funnily enough, uh, on the next tram, as if my day hadn't been bad enough at that point, um, I got fined for not having a ticket because I 
was in the crash when I was trying to buy the ticket and I was so shaken up that it didn't even cross my mind to try and buy another ticket when I'd boarded onto the next tram. So yeah, I thought I would give you guys that little story because I didn't vlog it unfortunately, I'd already finished filming my day, but that could have been so, so much worse. If my backpack wasn't on my back to pad my fall, I could have cracked my back, I could have hit my head on a bar. Thank God it wasn't worse. I could have ended up going to hospital and having an operation and I didn't have travel insurance to cover it. So I thought I would give some wise words to learn from my mistake and not be stupid like me. Get travel insurance, even if you're going for one night. Please subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Yeah, thanks for watching.